Hello again, this is Terry McGeary. If you watched my previous video, which I'll put a link to above, uh, you'll know that this is my greenhouse where I've been, I've been growing tomatoes and other things. Uh, I thought I'd let you see the next stage of the easy grow tomatoes. First things first, I've got all of this a bit overgrown. Now we've got tomato, tomato, six tomatoes there, but we've also got courgettes. And the courgettes are doing really quite well. I now wish I'd put them into pots that were filled a bit more with compost. I think it's too late to do anything about that now, but I hope they'll still grow. Um, I'll have another look at those later on in the video. First, I have to try and make some space. At this time of year, greenhouses can get really busy with seedlings growing, such as these French marigolds, a few extra tomatoes. I've managed to give four away. Uh, if anybody else wants one, <laughs> you need to let me know quick. Uh, and I've got other things, so if I can get rid of some of these, these could probably go outside now. There's no more frost likely, so these could go outside, which means that will then be free. But I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Um, I'll do that and then get back to you in two minutes. Well, I've moved some things out of the way, the trays of seedlings, these courgettes are looking great, look at that. The bigger problem is these tomatoes have actually been supported by the courgettes while they were growing there, so they've now started to tumble over alarmingly. So what I'll need to do is get these tied up to this line here, which I think is still stud enough, it's an old washing line, yeah, seems okay, that should take it, and I've got some string, and I'll just tie some string around these, near the top somewhere, and tether them up to this, and as they grow, I'll just take up the slack in the string, until they get up to this height, and probably stop them growing at that point, by pinching out the tip, so, Let's get going, see if I can save these poor things. Hello, my name is Alexander and I'm making a video with Terence. That's me, his grandfather. <laughs> All right, here is Terence's cactuses, <laughs> and here is Terence's big cactuses. And I wanted to show you the biggest flower. Cool, yeah? And don't forget Terence. Hello again. <laughs> oh, and here's also a house that Terence made. And here's some beautiful flowers. Bye bye. Well, filming was interrupted by a pleasant interlude when my grandson, six-year-old grandson Alexander came to help and he did his own little video film as well, which I won't share here, but yeah, he had a great time. However, that's me, finished. Tied these things up, I removed any extra side branches that were sticking out. Oh, I missed that one. Uh, hopefully that's the last one. And I spaced them out a little bit. I could probably, in all honesty, do with more room for them all. But I can slacken these off, move them up, move them along, tie them up again. And maybe being a bit greedy having six on the one side of the greenhouse, but nah. yeah, they'll survive. Uh, these things are massive, the courgettes. Massive. I have no idea. I underestimated badly how much room they would take. So I thought I'll have one on here, one below, and one at the side, and hope that works. I need to be careful with the watering because there's not an awful lot of compost in there. These things dry up, but that soil is dry, won't dry, and these can just collapse if they get too dry and won't come round again, I think. So I need to get some water on these straight away. In fact, what I'll do 
because everything's about that stage, I'm going to use the tomato feed and at least give it to the tomatoes. I think it might do for the courgettes as well. But we'll do the tomatoes first anyway, so let's see what we need. Dilute 20 mils in 4.5 litres and 1 gallon of water. OK, let's do that. Well, that's the tomatoes sorted, tied up. I found the proper twine eventually. Makes no difference. Possibly that parcel strings even better, however. So they've all been fed, fed and watered like the horses. I was going to mention to you, yeah, these things are courgettes. Yeah, a couple of mistakes I've made, I think. One is to have them in the greenhouse at all, because they take up so much room, the size of those leaves. Uh, I had to move them into a two-storey situation here. So that's one mistake. Another mistake is containers. I should have used, I think, either bigger containers or filled those up to the absolute brim with compost. Next time, I'll think about both of those things. Another thing I'll mention to you, is not a mistake, but you'll see these ones here. That's the female flower, which has got a little courgette behind. It's the same with you know the, the other members of the, the family, cucumbers, for example, squashes. You'll see the small fruit behind already. Uh, we need another type of flower that doesn't have that. We need a male flower and the male flower will produce pollen and you can take the anther stamens out containing the pollen just tear them out and dabble them into the female flower to get the pollen onto the sticky stigma and that fertilizes the plant so I'm looking around to see if there are any male flowers on the go on other ones that's another female um, I think that one there, if you can see it, this one here, that doesn't have a little cucumber or a little courgette behind it. So that's a male flower. So once that comes out, I can take the male parts out with the pollen and dabble them into the, the female part in there. Or I can take a, a paintbrush and transfer the pollen using a paintbrush. Doesn't matter which way really. That's okay. Yeah, tendrils starting here as well, so it will tend to climb places. We'll see how it goes. So if you look again, you'll maybe see how these things are progressing or not. They may just die the death, but they might survive. So there we are. The tomatoes are at the correct stage now. I'll just keep making sure that there's a little bit of support for these as they grow up. I may move the string around. Make sure they get support. They were very well supported by these courgettes. Because when I moved these away, as you saw, they just collapsed down. So this one, I'm glad it's managed to be saved. Got a bit of a bend in it. But it's okay, I'll survive. And that's it. So, yeah, thanks again for having a look at how things are progressing with these tigrella tomatoes tomatoes um have a look in it and again sometime thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and share this if you know somebody who likes messing about in greenhouses thanks again